I think I'm losing my mind Trying to stay inside the lines It's like y'all want in place yeah. Yeah. Yo, what is up? I'm back again with another video from the Ascend 133X tournament right now just I felt like a lot of people was asking me questions about my trailer about my setup and just how it functions a day out on the water so right here you have me unhooking my trailer I have one ratchet strap on the back it is a retractable or <clears throat> auto ratchet strap pretty handy pretty neat it's just your standard jet ski trailer up at the front of course I got the winch I just loosen my winch and um, unhook it and I pull my boat down slightly just to give it a little more slide because my bunks it doesn't slide into the water so well with this real low water that we have right here so here I'm backing it in just like you would a little John boat <laughs> it's basically a little John boat to be honest because this thing is you know a beast it's huge 13 3 it's about 160 pounds fully rigged out I don't know if it's it might not be that heavy but it seems like it with the battery and all but uh here dumping it in see I was barely sliding off the bunks and I come in give it a nice little push or two get my cords out the way I have a leash on it that is hooked to the back of my Jeep and that is this long leash I have a uh, I think it's a 20 yard leash just give it enough space to clear the trailer and I throw it out of the way and I uh, I back in the Jeep pull my trailer up just far enough to where it's out of the water I remove my leash from the Jeep and that is about it that's how I do it pretty simple not too complicated Right here I have my cords I'm just gonna show you guys how easy and smooth it is with the way I rig them to re release my trolling motor I have one cord going to the release one cord to ease it into the water simple and smooth as that start off with this mini banger I'm gonna do a little fishing today also I think this mini banger is gonna get the job done today just based on the conditions I feel like I can catch a few so we're gonna get started I'll check back in with you when I catch something. Let's go. We are hooked up. First fish. Feels pretty small. Look at her. Throwing in the boat. Yes, sir. On that Guggen mini banger. Let's get her unhooked real quick. Yeah. Small, but it's a fish. Thanks for the bite. Yes, sir. Just casting up shallow. Got that one to bite. Hooked up again. Yeah, buddy, this one feels a little better. This wind is howling, man. I had to <laughs> had to cut that audio for y'all, man. It's, it's real crazy out here. Oh man, he just stopped fighting. Gave up on us. <laughs> Let's get him in the boat real quick. Had a little trouble getting them out of the net. Gonna drop them back in. Get the old release. And there he goes. And today's video is brought to you by Body Armor. <laughs> Psych, not really. May y'all stay hydrated out here this season. 
right now as requested by a couple people in the comments of my recent update video on the kayak a lot of people are looking at this has wing trolling motor setup that I have and are planning on doing the same thing and asked me to do a full out speed test so here we have it right now my phone app speedometer is putting us at three miles an hour and um I just made sure it corresponded with my fish finder fish finder is reading 3.3 but uh yeah it's pretty accurate so three miles an hour top speed I feel like that's a good speed it's not <laughs> there's nothing too crazy or fast but that's a decent speed at top speed for a long duration that you can run off of a very good battery on a full charge you can you know I me personally the amount of time that I use the boat on a trip it's about four hours and I can honestly do two days or two trips off one full battery now as far as stability when you come to this boat I had a few questions about upon stability personally stability depends on you more so than the boat now this boat is stable it has a high capacity I can stand up pretty easily as you can see hop right up and I'm still in full speed at three miles an hour but what I mean by stability being based upon you is your body type and your experience using kayaks has a lot to do with your individual stability um, my body type I I carry most of my weight in my lower body uh, midsection and legs are most of my weight so it sits low to the boat and I've been kayak fishing for four or five years now and I've used a lot of different boats and you develop muscle memory and your balance because when I first started none of the kayaks were stable but I realized it was me you develop movement in your midsection to counteract <laughs> the way your boat moves and the way you move on water because it's not it's not a natural movement that you'd be accustomed to it's not like sitting in any other chair or on any other surface that you're used to so it, it comes with time um, and when you have that balance already makes your boat even more stable here got another fish off camera let's let her go whoop yes sir right here I'm just throwing weightless worm I've seen a lot of fish chasing bait up against these reeds and on the banks and they're not in an all-out feed it's just real subtle bait flickering and you can tell that they're being chased but I couldn't get them to hit the crankbait up oh, we're hooked up there she is come on in here yep and they're fighting pretty hard when they hit it but they're just subtly grabbing this worm and I really don't feel them until I pick up on it get her in the boat yep there she is another small one nothing too crazy Let's get her unhooked. There we go. Tiny little guy. Let's get her back in the water. Thanks for biting. Yes, sir. Like I was saying, man, this weightless worm, I feel like it'll be the most um, useful bait in this situation because the crankbait is just a little too Ooh, hooked up again. There she is. Oh, he's fighting pretty good. There, <laughs> look at that jump. All right. Come on in here. Another one on the weightless worm. If you haven't tried this worm yet, you need to try it. It's the Robo Worm brand. And I use a few different colors. I use all of their purple colors, basically. You got Morning Dawn. You got Midnight Margarita. Midnight Margarita 2. Give it a try if you haven't on any of your uh, worm rigs it is great I use the seven inch version not the five inch definitely great on a drop shot as well let her go boom Let's see if we can get another one out of this shallow brush I keep seeing bait flicker over here so I'm sure they're kind of stacked in here pretty well oh. there it is 
Whoops, see my line running off? <laughs> That's the funny thing about Weightless Worm. Oh, she's digging. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another little one, but they are fighting good today. Let's get her in the boat. Tiny little guy with a lot of fight. They're small, but it's fun. Let's get her unhooked. Back in the water. Let's go. Throw back in here. Like I said, I think they're stacked in here pretty good. Oh, there she is again. Come on in here. Oh, yeah. Jeez, these little fish, man. Definitely in the nursery, but... Man, this, this is too fun. I can do this all night. As long as they're biting. Thanks for the bite. Yes, sir. Let's see. Let's see if I can get another one out of this little spot. Yeah, me. Just missed him. Think she'll get it again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I wonder how many fish I can catch out of this one spot. Let's see. I think that's my third bite in this area. Uh, uh, she don't have it yet. Here you have it. No, not yet. There she is. Yep. Hooked up again on yet another <laughs> little hard fighting bass. Yes, sir. I'm gonna play around a little bit. Get her on in the boat. Boom. Got another one on that Robo Worm weightless. Hook pop right out. Back in the water. All right. It's getting a little darker, it's getting to that prime time where I can do something that I've been looking forward to all winter, and that is <laughs> fish the top water again. Thank God we've got warmer weather. If you're anything like me when it comes to fishing, top water is the way to go. Oh, I just missed a bite right there. Did you guys see that? I'll pitch back in there one time. I love top water blow ups, man. Oh, boom! <laughs> Come on in here. Oh, yeah, this might be an upgrade. Definitely a little better fish on the top water. My favorite top water. Matter of fact, let's get her in the boat first before, <laughs> before we lose her. She's barely hooked. in the boat yes sir on one of my all-time favorite baits I'll let you guys take a look at this bait now this bait is a cross between a walking bait and a pop r and it is a old school bait as far as i know it's been a long a long time it's been used by a lot of different anglers it's called the chug bug i believe it's a storm bait storm brand Nice chunky fish came up and slurped it. Nice little blow up. Probably a pound and a half. Nothing too crazy. Put it back in. Yeah, there she goes. Soft strong. <laughs> 